In this video, I'm going to take a look at the AI avatar generation feature built into TechSmith Audiate. I know many of you think of me as the Adobe Captivate uh, guy on YouTube, and certainly that makes a lot of sense. I've got over 700 videos that are mostly about Adobe Captivate. But what many of you don't know is that I also use the TechSmith products pretty religiously. It's more of a behind the scenes thing for me. I use TechSmith Camtasia to record my screen, to record my camera and to pick up my microphone. And, uh, and then I edit all of that stuff uh, using Camtasia, but also Audiate is part of my workflow these days. I, I really like the idea of editing um, my content based on the text that I see on my screen. So that's kind of cool. I can recognize, oh, I need to cut that entire sentence and I can use Audiate to do that. So it's been part of my workflow for about a year now, but one of the things that I was unaware of is that Audiate now has the ability to do AI avatar generation just from the text that you input. Let me show you. All right, so I've got uh, Audiate running here. I didn't launch it from Camtasia as I normally do, um, but you know, it was this generate button that actually drew my attention to this feature seeing that little half audio, half uh, avatar character there. And I just decided to give it a try. So I just pasted in some text that I'm using from you know, my, my e-learning course that I'm currently working on here and uh, simply click the generate button here. And this little workflow kind of popped up and appeared. And there's a bunch of things that we can do. You can choose a preset. Um, you know, we can choose one of these different options here that's available, or you can make your, your own selections here. So I can start off with my native language being English US, but there are, as you can see, some other opportunities here as well. English, Spanish, Brazilian, Dutch, French, German, Italian. We can choose um, a character that we wish to use. And uh, let's just take Andrew as an example here. You can preview Andrew to hear what he sounds like. Hello, my name is Andrew. How can I help? Seems pretty good. Now, one of the nice things about this is the ability to adjust the speed and pitch. So if it's not quite to your liking, uh, you can make some changes there. I generally think that e-learning should be a little bit slower not too slow, but slow enough that, you know, even someone who needs a little extra time to comprehend what's being spoken to them uh, can do so here. Now, you know, you can certainly generate audio and create a, a little clip that could be added to your e-learning course. But I just thought, hey, let's add avatar and see what that process is like there. And we can simply choose a character that is, you know, maybe appropriate for the voice that we just selected there. Let's choose uh, Luis, and we'll go ahead and generate avatar here. All right, so we have uh, Luis's face, and uh, I don't recall whose voice we chose. Um, one of the things that I noticed the first time I did this is that sometimes the voice doesn't match the face. And that's sort of the giveaway there. But let's preview this and see how it runs. The public drop-off, PDO, area provides a convenient and responsible way for residents to dispose of household waste, recyclables, and hazardous materials. By using the PDO, residents help ensure safe waste disposal, protect the environment, and contribute to a more sustainable community. I think what's really cool about that is that when you're watching the video of the character on screen, the AI avatar, it's almost as if he's reading this text off of a cue card or something like that, because you can see his eyes moving back and forth. And I think that's a really neat feature. I think that's beneficial. And you know, this video, all I need to do at this point here is click on export and I can either export to an MP4 and simply add it to my e-learning course at the appropriate slide 
or I can export it to Camtasia if I'm going to be doing some additional editing or adding some additional annotation to the screen and so forth. But let's just export it to a file, see what that process is like. You can choose default video, uh, either high resolution, basic mono, default video here. Uh, file format is obviously MP4. You could choose M4A, but I think MP4 is going to be best for e-learning situations. Frame rate is 30 frames per second. Quality is medium. Let's just go high for right now and see how long the process potentially can take. And the dimensions in this case are 1918. I uh, don't know why it's that. Or <laughs> and, and by 10, 1080. So basically HD quality. So let's go ahead and press OK. So now I have the opportunity to save this uh, somewhere on my hard drive here. I will just call this AI Avatar and we'll go ahead and press save there. So that obviously doesn't take very long. Most of the generation portion is taking care of the rendering for you. So really good. I'm really impressed with this. So I think if you're already a Camtasia Create customer, at you know presently $250 a year, it makes sense to consider upgrading because of course giving you the ability to do AI generated avatar videos for $499. When you compare this with some of the AI avatar video generation services that are out there, they seem to be anywhere from about $450 to about $770. And that's just that one feature. So when you consider the fact that with Camtasia Pro, you get everything that you get with Camtasia, the ability to record your videos, edit your videos, and produce professional quality screen capture videos, along with, of course, all the tools that are available, including the AI-generated avatar videos, it's not that big of a deal when you start considering that just getting the AI avatar is going to cost you anywhere from about 450 right up to about $800. So I'm glad I looked at this feature. If you are in e-learning or any kind of video creation process, Camtasia Pro, I think, just makes sense. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.